Hello and welcome everyone to our video where we will explore one of the new features of the Master Study plugin, the Social Login Add-on. This brand new add-on enables users to log into the LMS using their Google or Facebook accounts for quick and secure access, eliminating the need to remember additional passwords. To begin, enable the Social Media Add-on from the Pro Add-ons tab and click on the gear icon to set it up. Alternatively, you can access this page by navigating the settings, then profiles, and finally social login. There is an availability to change the social login position in the authorization form. In this video, we will talk about setting up social login via Facebook only. For Google, please refer to the previous video. To enable Facebook social login on your site through the master site social login add-on, first, you have to create a Facebook app. From February 1, 2023, Facebook now requires businesses to complete a business verification to use Facebook login feature. This change means that only verified businesses can offer Facebook login on their websites. Individuals without business verification cannot use this feature. Check out the link in the video description to get more information. Open a new tab, then go to the developers.facebook.com and log into your account. Click on My Apps and create a new app. Choose Other. Then select Consumer for an app type. Indicate the app name, a contact email, and business account, then click on Create App. Then you need to add a Facebook login to your app. Select the web platform for your app. Enter the URL of your website. Click on Save and Continue. You can leave the steps 2, 3, and 4 without change. In the final step of adding Facebook login into your app, you can see all Facebook's necessary documentation with guides. Go to the settings of Facebook login. Return to the WordPress and copy the redirect URL from the social login add-on settings. Pass the URL into valid auth redirect URIs fields in your Facebook app settings and save the change. If a blank page shows up after clicking the Save Change button, simply refresh your web browser to ensure the changes are saved. Navigate to App Settings, then Basics. Ensure you enter a URL that links directly to your publicly accessible privacy policy in the Privacy Policy URL and Terms of Services fields in the Basic App Settings. Other fields are optional to fill and they will be mainly displayed in the Confirmation page which comes after clicking Login with Facebook in your website. In the Permission and Feature section under the App Preview, find Public underscore Profile permission and choose Request Advanced Access. Confirm Advanced Access for the public profile. Answer data handling questions and click Submit. As this process is up to your business, you need to fill it on your own according to your business. Find the email permission and repeat the same process as we did to the public profile. If you do everything correctly, then you can change the mode of the app to leave. Turn the switch and click the Start Checkup. Certify data use by clicking the box and continue. Certify compliance with platform, terms and developer policies and continue. Meta notifies you if you have any problem with this app through email and alerts inbox. Now let's make the app leave. Now it's time to copy your app credentials. Go to App Settings, then Basic. Copy the app ID and app secret, then paste them to the designated areas in the Master Study Settings. Do not forget to save. Good job, we have finished. Let's see how it appears to users. I think it looks amazing. That concludes our tutorial. If you found the video helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. 
stay tuned, and of course, thanks for watching.